conclusion, references, bibliography, and appendices. Dear students, we are moving towards the end of your thesis. And we are done with the conclusion, right? So what else are to be given, right? What else is to be, you know, attached, right? So when you're done with your conclusion, uh, you are left with something more to be added to your thesis, right? So the last chapter, although it is not numbered as a chapter, but the last, you know, thing to be added to your research paper or your thesis is the list of references. And it could be named alternatively. It could be titled as bibliography or work cited list, right? Or references, right? So in this, uh, you know, session, we are going to talk about those, uh, you know, additional things which are to be put to the thesis or your um, research papers at the end after conclusion, right? So um, when you are done with your conclusion, the last chapters um, are particularly about additional things, right? So those additional things include, uh, you know, the uh, uh, appendices, uh, the references list, and the, you know, uh, rest of the things which are, which are given, like titled as bibliography or um, a work cited list, right? So these are the titles which are given, right? And um, remember that there are some differences when we are using, uh, you know, um, alternate titles, right? Like for example, um, references and work cited list, they are similar, right? So only the titles are, they are different nomenclature, right? And it's mainly because of the style, right? The style, for example, in APA, the uh, preference is given to references, right? So if references is given, then it's the APA, American Psychological Association, which is the style of the documentation, right? And then if the title is work cited list, then the work cited list is uh, as per the MLA, Modern Language Association, right? So it's, you know, the difference of the style. Um, particularly between these two titles, references and works cited list, okay? But remember that some students, they incorrectly use uh, works cited list and it is works cited list. So it's not one work, there is, you know, a long list of works. So the word should be used as plural, works cited list, right? Um, so that's the difference between the two, uh, references and works cited list, right? And then we have um, a difference between bibliography and references. And that difference is, uh, you know, important to be known by the researchers. Bibliography, it's a list of resources and sources um, which may be or may not be referred by the scholar in the text, okay? So bibliography is basically including each and everything which you consulted, you, you may have referred to them in your text or not, right? But whatever you consulted, you read, and you went through in order to prepare your document, your proposal, or your, uh, you know, thesis, your research paper. So if you are giving the title, which is bibliography, then you are, uh, you know, putting up every source which you consulted. On the other hand, references or work cited list is basically you know the list which includes only and only those references those works which are referred by the researcher okay so that's the basic difference between bibliography and references and bibliography and work cited list right um also remember that bibliography is uh, mostly given at the end of a proposal, because in proposal, uh, which is a brief document, if a research proposal is there, then there are some sources, some references, which are consulted by anyone who is preparing the proposal, right? So the end list of the sources is titled as bibliography. And bibliography is also most of the time given at the end of a book, right? When the monograph or the book is, uh, you know, finalized. So there are some sources which are consulted by the writers, okay? But particularly for research papers and for dissertations or for theses, you know, the list is given uh, with the title as references, right? So that's the difference which should be known to you. 
And then um, remember that references and bibliography, they are not similar. There is this technical difference which should be known to, uh, you know, researchers, right? Um, about the layout and the order and the configuration, style, font size and display tables of these additional documents, uh, you know, references, appendices, right? Then uh, it should be, you know, uh, as per the style, which is to be, uh, you know, adopted by a researcher. Uh, because some of the educational institutions, they prefer uh, particular styles. Uh, some would go for APA, others would choose MLA or Chicago, right? So those styles, they actually, you know, require to, to follow a particular font size, particular layout, particular order even, what to put first after references and what to, to add at the end, right? So that should be known to a scholar who is finalizing it, right? Um, references basically is a list of formalized description of all the sources which were included by the author in the text, okay? And referencing style or system uh, is particular as discussed. Uh, you may be following APA or MLA as per the requirement of your, you know, educational institution. And all references, whatever you added up, whatever you cited in your text, in, in whatever chapter, whatever section, must be given completely in a very formal manner at the end list of your references. So that is something which should be known to researchers, okay? So the standard layout is that your document should, uh, you know, appear to be very professional. It should look like a very, you know, a professional um, document, right? So appendices are normally, you know, the, the attachment of those various sort of documents which are important, right? Where uh, you can put your material, raw data, or your instrument for data collection as appendix, right? You may add up um, more than one appendix if required, right? So you may be putting up your research questionnaire uh, as your appendix, right? Or maybe your uh, transcribed data of the interview, right? So that is something which is added as uh, appendix and it is in the support of your data, right? So that should be known to you. And appendix is basically something which is too lengthy, uh, too detailed, um, too lengthy to be uh, made the part of the inside text, right? So since it's too long, it is given a separate portion, a separate part at the end of, you know, the document, right? So that's why it is given as, the title is given as appendix. Um, they are important, appendices are really important in order to support your study. Um, they may be including uh, some explanatory figures, some explanatory tables, or maps of the area, right? So those uh, aspects are given in the appendix, right? And the appendices may also include survey, questionnaire, or anything which is used for data. Any text, for example. You may be putting up any short story if you are writing your research paper on a short story, but the short story is not easily available. It's not online available, right? So in this case, you may be putting up your short story at the end as appendix, right? Uh, similarly, if you are working on a rare movie and the movie is not available or you want your readers to know about the movie, so the introduction of the movie can also be made the part of your appendix, right? So that is also something which is uh, to be given. And the raw data, as earlier mentioned, the transcribed interview or, you know, the coded data can also be made the part of the appendices. Anything, any paper, any document which could not be set inside the text, inside the research paper or thesis, is always added at the end. And that is the appendix or the appendices, uh, if they are more than one, right? So that's the layout and that's the, the final shape of your document to be submitted.